All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the front brake pads and rotor replacement on a 2007 Toyota Prius. Now, this is going to be similar from 04 to 09. Um, straightforward process. Nothing to worry about. Don't be alarmed just because it's a hybrid. Um, you're just going to need some basic tools for this. But if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and then like and share the video. And then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we'll go ahead and start this video right after the intro. Need some basic tools for the job. Um, you can actually use the pliers to actually clamp down the the piston on the caliper. If not, if you don't want to use that route, you can actually use the caliper uh, disc brake tool set. Twenty seven one 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 is the part number. You can get that at AutoZone. And then um, we're going to be needing a seventeen millimeter and then a fourteen millimeter and some brake grease. Um, if your car has the key, then obviously we're gonna need the key. And then a 21 millimeter for the lug nuts. All right, and then also jacking up points. You can actually jack it up from the subframe itself. And then um, you can use your jack stand from right here, or you can actually jack it up from right here and then put the, the jack stand right here. So either or, whatever you feel comfortable with. So just make sure that you're, um, um, you know, just have it right there so it's reinforcement. Um, so here's a caliper itself, and then here's a caliper bracket. So for the caliper, we're going to be needing a 14 millimeter. Now, if this nut right here, if the guide bolt is actually spinning, you can actually hold, uh, get the, the pliers and hold that down. And then there's our 17 millimeter right there. You're gonna, it's gonna be one on top and then one on bottom. So right there, there's the other 14, and then there's the other 17 right there. So one 14 and then one 17 right here. Um, if your rotor's stuck, you can actually bang on it on the, on the smooth side, go back and forth. So hit right here, then hit on the other side, hit back and forth until it breaks free. Um, and you would, you have to at least use like a two and a half pound hammer or or higher. So just so you can get that going. And now if your area is pretty rusted and if it's not smooth, you need to clean this out. Now if it's really bad, then you need to go ahead and replace it because that could cause future wobbles. So here's a caliper bracket. Um, we're going to go ahead and replace the hardware on it. So, just pull these guys right back. And then for our guide pins, we need to make sure that these are spinning freely. This one's a little bit stuck. So you want to spin that and then push down the boot down. And then just pull it back until it breaks free from its seal. And then we're going to go ahead and lubricate that. And then we're going to do the same thing for the, the other end. So we're going to go ahead and put in our new hardware kit. So we'll just sit that down right there. And then put in our new rotor. And then we'll put in our bracket. And then we're going to go ahead and lubricate our pads. We want to lubricate just the contact points. And then the one with the anti-wear clip or the wear clip, we're going to go ahead and put that on this bottom end right here. And then for our caliper, we're just going to go ahead and um, put the base of our pliers on the base of this and then our other base would be on the top of the caliper. So make sure it's flat. You just squeeze it. You're gonna have to put a little bit of pressure on it 
just because it's a little bit difficult, but other than that, should be fine. So when putting on the lug nuts, you need to make sure that this fully seats centered inside here because it actually can hit the, the lip of the rim. So these will be a guide for the rim. And then when you tighten the bolt, make sure you go in snug first so that it fully seats in. So you're going to just do one, two opposite of each other. And then from there you can tighten it as long as they're fully seated in. And then when you tighten the bolts, they need to be in the start pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Once you're done doing the job, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to press the brake, <clears throat> get the vehicle running, and then you're going to go ahead and pump up the brakes. Now you want to keep pumping them until they're hard, and as soon as they're hard, then you're good to go. Then you can start um, driving around. Now you might hear like a little hissing sound. Don't worry about that. You're going to have a break-in period. You, you could probably hear noise up to like 50 miles. Um, usually it takes about like 5 or like 10 miles of like kind of like braking. Don't brake too hard because you're still going to be breaking them in. Um, but if anything, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share the video, and then hit the subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.